Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today is my Valentine's Day video. I hope you enjoy. It's part of a playlist and I'll get into that in just a bit. Project number one. I have one of these styrofoam glittery terrible hearts from the Dollar Tree. And then I have some of this thicker jute cording that I use from Amazon. It is in my storefront. So I am just putting a bead of hot glue around the back and I'm going to just start wrapping this entire heart with this jute. Now I did have to, like there were some spaces that I had to like cut the cording and had them going in different directions but you'll see it comes out beautiful and I'm able to um, to hide some of it so uh, anyway I'm not going to show you myself wrapping this entire piece but I did want to just show you um, where I got started so Again, I just put one bead of glue and I'm just wrapping it very tightly around the heart. Now, once that's done, I have that love um, laser cut out from the Dollar Tree and that ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby. So I took one of my Arteza gel pens and I colored in the word and then, so I made a double bow and you can see, see it right there. And I'm just going to hot glue this word right to the heart. And I wasn't thrilled with that bow. I wanted the tails to be longer. So I didn't end up using that one and I made a new one. So all I did was once I determined the length that I wanted, I um, just did the awareness ribbon, you know, scrunched it in the center, tied it with some jute, and then covered the jute with another piece of that ribbon. So now I've got it the length I want, so I'm going to just hot glue it to the upper corner of the heart. And then I am going to, once it dries, it took a little while to dry. <laughs> um, I'm taking the tails and I'm just doing like an accordion fold on them. And then I just cut the end at an angle, not a dovetail just at an angle and then I'm going to tack it to the heart and I do this on both sides.
Then I'm going to take my bucket of <laughs> wood cutouts and I found a little heart. I colored it in with that same color that I used for the word and hot glued it to the center of the bow. Now I'm just taking my uh, lighter and I'm burning off all of the fuzzies. And that's it for this one. I am obsessed. I absolutely love how this came out. Let me know what you guys think. This video is part of the Love Corner collab. A bunch of us creators got together to bring you some Valentine inspiration. Now I do want to give a special shout out to C from CJDIY. She did all the legwork on this, but we're all hosting in her words. <laughs> so anyway, I will have the links to all of these creators channels as well as the playlist in my description box down below. Once you're done with my video, head on down to the playlist and check everybody out and let them know that I sent you. Now with all that being said, let's get back into the projects. Project number two. I have some of these wood hearts from Dollar Tree. I got them a couple of years ago or last year uh, because I haven't bought anything really. And then I have this burlap sheet from Amazon. It is in my storefront and that is in my description box. And then I'm taking my plaster chalk paint from Waverly and the antique wax from Waverly as well. So I'm taking all of the hangers and the stickers off of the hearts. And then I am going to take this slatted um, heart. I am going to use my antique wax and a wipe. And I'm just going to kind of wipe it on the entire heart and I do the like horizontal slab things in between all of the pieces you'll you'll see I'm not good at this <laughs> I'm not good at explaining this part but yeah I'm using my baby wipe and I am just gonna do the whole front side of this heart that's an easier way of saying it Tammy now I'm going to put that aside to dry and I am going to take my plaster chalk paint and I am going to paint this heart in the plaster. Then I put that aside as well. Now I'm taking some of this burlap and I just fold it in half and I am cutting out and I'm sorry that I'm out of frame. I am just cutting out a heart shape you know, like the half heart, and then you'll open it up and boom, you have a heart. There you go, right there. So once that's done, I'm just going to end up trimming that down a little bit, I think. Well, maybe I guess I don't. Um, but I do pull some of the um, burlap off just to kind of fray some of the edges. I can't do it all the way around. Uh, because of the way the burlap is, but yeah, you see what I'm doing here. So now I'm going to just put everything together. So I'm taking some wood glue and some hot glue, and I am going to attach the solid heart to this slatted heart. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right here. I don't know why I left this all in. I apologize. But there you go. So now that's done. Now I'm going to take this Fabri-Tac glue and the burlap, and I'm going to use that to adhere the burlap to the heart.
Now you can see where I put that glue, but it dries clear, you won't see it later. So now I'm taking these little letters I got from Amazon and I'm trying to find the letters to spell out forever. And I was short some E's. So I took a couple of F's and one of the I's and I made two E's. <laughs> so I think it did pretty good overall. I found a way to kind of camouflage them. So it all worked out in the end. Now that they are all together and dried, I am going to just hot glue the letters into place. I start with the center letter and then I will go out on either side from there to spell out the word. And now I'm gonna take some little hearts that I have in my container of <laughs> laser cut wood pieces. I took some different sized and I did not paint them or stain them just like the letters. And I'm just kind of scattering the hearts kind of all over the bigger hearts. Now, once I'm done with that, I am going to take the bow that I made for the first project and I'm just going to hot glue it in the center of the hearts and then I'm going to tack down the tails so that they don't cover my word. And I am so sorry for my voice. I just had a coughing fit and I don't know what happened. But anyway, I'm done with that and we can move on. <laughs> now, once I have that done, I'm going to take, I start out with just one heart in the center of my bow. I add a couple more hearts kind of on the rest of the hearts <laughs> and then I decide I'm going to take a couple more sizes and I'm going to stack them on top of that first heart in the center of the bow oh and I also take one of or yeah one of the teeny tiny hearts and I place one on each of the vowels and it just happens that I can place them right where I had to put the E's together. <laughs> so it kind of camouflaged them. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then I'm just going to take the hanger that was already on one of the hearts and I'm just going to feed it into the um, biggest of the hearts. And that's it for this one. I love this. I'm trying to keep things neutral because Valentine's Day is not really a big deal to me, but I love these. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in here real quick because I have a package from Rose Forever New York. I've gotten these before from them and I absolutely love them. Please excuse my mess over here and over here. Um, but anyways, so I got this package from Rose Forever New York and I wanted to share this with you. With Valentine's Day coming and, you know, maybe an anniversary or a birthday, these are absolutely perfect for any occasion. So look at how nicely packaged this comes. I'm going to take this out and pull this box out of the box. Here we go. And now I will take the plastic off. I am so excited. I've had these for a long time, but I wanted to wait until Valentine's Day to share them with you and to share my special code with you in case you want to send these to anyone special in your life. So, the this <laughs> these sorry this is the box it comes in it's a black velvet box it's gorgeous and they have their logo right here rose forever new york okay so again beautiful velvet box and are you guys ready are you ready oh. Look at how gorgeous these are, you guys. I'm going to bring it up to show you. Look at how stunning these are. So there's 36 roses in this box. They are specially treated and will last up to a year. You heard that right, a year. And if I'm completely honest with you, the last ones I got were probably a year and a half ago or so, and they still look amazing. I still have them out, they're gorgeous. They're the, um, they were like black, but these are real roses that are specially treated and they're absolutely stunning. I love them. I'm going to show you again up close, as close as I can, without blurring things out. But that is them. This, again, Rose Forever, New York. Beautiful, beautiful product. I would definitely um, suggest looking into them if you're looking for something special for that someone special. I will have a code as well as their website in my description box down below. So make sure that you head on down and check them out. And I want to say a huge thank you to Rose Forever. Okay. Let's get back to the crafts. 
Okay, on to project number three. I have one of these uh, rectangular chargers and I got that from Dollar Tree. And then I have some little hearts. I believe those came from Dollar Tree as well. Some of my IOD transfers from that seed pack. And then I have some walnut wood, wood tint is what it's called. And then my plaster chalk paint. So I use the wood tint on the hearts the plaster on the charger and now I'm taking some more of that wood tint just to uh, dirty up this charger just like that and now I'm going to take my IOD transfers and I am going to add them to the center of the hearts so you just lay it down take the stick that is provided and just rub 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 until you can lift it up and you'll be able to see it gets kind of cloudy the the image gets kind of cloudy and that tells you it's ready to um to pull up the carrier paper so um yeah i do that with all three of the hearts and if for some reason you start to pull up and the image starts to come up with it, just lay it back down and rub on it some more. So that's it. Very simple. So now I'm taking some wood glue and some hot glue and I am going to glue the three hearts into the center of this charger. Now you'll notice that the two the top and the bottom heart, you can't see the hole that's in them, but the center one you can because the transfer was smaller. So I just took some of the uh, twine from the Dollar Tree and I just made a very simple shoestring bow and I'm just going to hot glue, I'm cutting down the tails quite a bit, but then I'm going to hot glue it right into the center of the center heart. So now I need a hanger. So I'm gonna take some more of that red and white striped ribbon. I decided how long I wanted the hanger. And now I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to fold it in thirds, I believe, yeah. I do it in thirds so that it's not so big and bulky for the hanging. Now, once that's done, I'm just measuring it again. And then I'm going to take some hot glue and add it to the back and then or on the ribbon and attach it to the back. Now, it does not stay, okay? Uh, the hot glue doesn't like the plastic, whatever. <laughs> so what I ended up doing, and I kind of left it in so you could see, it just kind of pops right off, see? So I used the hot glue again, and then I put a little dab of E6000 under the very top part of the ribbon. You'll see in just a second. And then what I do is I just take some uh, clamps, a couple clamps, and I just uh, clamp it on there until the E6000 dries.
And here it is with the clamps. <laughs> but I do take them off. But I think this came out so pretty. I really, really like this. Let me know what you think. Okay, DIY number four. I have this sign that I got at the Dollar Tree in the fall. And then I have this heart. It's like a double heart. I think I got it at Dollar Tree. Yeah, I did. Um, it, again, it was a couple few years ago. But anyways, and then some of these smaller hearts that... I've had in my stash forever. So I am going to take all of the, well, I don't take the hanger off the pumpkin sign, but I'm taking the hanger off of these two and separating them and taking the sticker off as well. Then I put the sticker on each piece of wood so that I can fill in the hole with some hot glue and then I just let it dry and then I can work with it that way. So if you don't have any wood putty, this is, I had some, I just didn't, I honestly just didn't feel like getting up to get it. So there you go. But anyways, this works great. So I'm taking some plaster chalk paint and some of this walnut wood tint and I painted the sign. It took me three coats. And then I'm taking some of the wood tint and I'm just gonna go over the edges, I believe. Oh, well, I guess I do the whole thing. So I am going to just dirty up the entire sign with that wood tint. So I put that aside and I do both hearts with the wood tint as well. And once everything is dry, I'm just going to line it all up as best I can. And then I am going to find another rub-on transfer to use at the very top of the sign where it looks kind of bare. Yeah, I fixed that. <laughs> so again, it's the seed pack IOD transfers. Um, it's the same pack that I used for my last project. So I am just going to take this little sign and I'm going to just uh, rub it onto this big sign before I place the hearts down. Now I'm gonna take some of my Gorilla Wood Glue and some hot glue and I am going to attach both of these hearts to the sign. Now, I took six of the little wood hearts that were in my stash and I painted them with the plaster chalk paint and I'm going to add three on that bottom piece and three on the top piece. And then I have four smaller hearts and I put those in between the white hearts and I did not paint them because I wanted them to kind of go with that rub-on transfer that I added. Yeah. 
and I felt like the heart needed a little something extra. So I have one of these hearts that came in a pack of like five or six from Dollar Tree a couple of years ago. And I'm just going to add that to the center. And I am so sorry about my noggin head. Uh, someday I'll explain to you about my hair, but please forgive me um, for the time being. <laughs> Um, it just, it has to do with all the chemo that I've had, um, in, in a very short time. So anyway, I'm going to take this plaster chalk paint and a chippy brush, and I am going to go around the, um, the big hearts. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more of that wood tint and I'm going to go over the heart right there. Well, I guess I didn't take any extra wood tint. I think there was enough on that brush. So there you go. There's a little white, there's a little wood tint on that uh, small wooden heart. Now I'm doing a finger bow here with this twine and I slowed it down so that you guys could see how I do it. Um, I'm not the first to do it. I am not the original, but here you go. This is how it's done. I watched Brenda from Rustic and Lace do it for a long time before I was able to catch on. But once you catch on, it's easy peasy. So I did, I believe it was a three loop bow on either side and then I'm just going to trim down the tails a little bit and hot glue that right where the hole is in that center heart. So I trim the tails, tack them down, and that's it for this one. How gorgeous is this sign? I absolutely love it. I think it came out so great. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, we're nearing the end with project number five. I got this envelope at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for, I can't see, I think it said $3.79, but, and then I have those hearts from Dollar Tree and the IOD transfers. So I'm trying to find one that I like that I can put on the front center of this envelope. I find one and I do add it and then I decide I don't like it very much and then I waste it and end up placing a different one there.
So once I add that transfer on, I'm gonna take some of this floral foam and I'm just, I know I'm using scissors, right? Um, but anyway, <laughs> I'm just cutting it so that it's thin enough to fit in the envelope. I used that boxwood that I got from Walmart and I added that in there. And guys, I'm sorry. I don't know why I did this off camera, but I did. So anyway, I added some of the hearts to the inside of the envelope as well. And then here's where I feel like I'm not loving that transfer. So I tried a couple different things to scrape it off and ended up using a um, blade. So I scraped this particular one off and then I went with that other one with the red roses. I just felt like it didn't have enough red and because of the hearts being so bright red, I just felt like I needed more red. So I, it was very sad that I wasted that transfer, but I think in the end it was worth it. So again, it's all boxwood and the hearts from Dollar Tree. And then I took a piece of that red striped ribbon that I've been using. I made a bow added it to a wooden dowel and painted the wooden dowel in the red so that it would match. And that's it for this one. Again, I apologize it was off camera, but look at the end results. I think it's gorgeous. Let me know what you think. So I want to thank all of these amazing creators who allowed me to be part of this collab. I am honored, truly. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. It lets them know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome. I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day and I will see you next Thursday.